ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه وازواجه امهات المؤمنين وعلى من اتبعهم باحسان الى يوم الدين My dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam, I'm your host, Kareem Abu Zaid, and this is a live uh, broadcast, uh, the virtual higher aim series uh, of the Quran, uh, which we uh, uh, supposed to give last night, but uh, I was unprepared, so uh, alhamdulillah, uh, tonight, bi'idnillahi ta'ala, we will uh present uh, the series uh, and today uh, subhanallah brothers and sisters in islam uh, we happen to have surah al-hajj and this was not arranged whatsoever uh, this was uh, accidentally you know surah al-hajj is chapter number 22 uh, which comes right after uh, surah al-anbiya and we're going to do part one today part two next week inshallah bi'idnillah uh, Ta'ala, Surah Al-Hajj, brothers and sisters in Islam, this is our uh, uh, surah tonight. Uh, but first, uh, allow me to uh, uh, make some, uh, uh, first of all, let me welcome uh, uh, our uh, students, uh, our brothers and sisters in Islam. Uh, we have AR, wa alaykum salam sister Umm Muhammad, wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, Sister Umm Muhammad, uh, yes, inshallah, I read Surah Al-Muddathir. Uh, when the masajid opens again, uh, probably I'm going to do this in the masjid, inshallah. Uh, yes, I would like to finish uh, Juz Tabarak, inshallah. I understand, inshallah, I will. Uh, uh, I stopped at Al-Muddathir, yes. I'm planning to finish that, inshallah. Uh, it's only three surahs left, Al-Muddathir, Al-Qiyamah, Al-Insan, wal mursalat Four, actually. I'm actually halfway in Muddathir, so only th- three surahs left. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, uh, brother Ismail. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. We're all looking forward to Dhul uh, Hijjah and uh, Alhamdulillah Surah Al Hajj. Uh, we have brother uh, Il Mahjoub. Assalamu alaikum, brother Il Mahjoub. Uh, we have some news for the school today, inshallah. Uh, Muhammad Jalal Al Haq. Assalamu uh, alaikum, brother Muhammad uh, from England. Uh, Samira Burhan. Wa alaikum salam. Brother Ismail, aircraft fly guy. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, be safe there, uh, Najib. Wa alaykum salam. Ahad Sheikh from uh, Ontario. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi. Uh, brother Arfan uh, from England. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi. Sister Shiraf from Sri Lanka. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Khadija Ali. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ali uh, Halwi from Columbus, Ohio. Uh, we have Sister Sarah. 
uh, I forgot to introduce myself. Sister Sarah lives in Saudi Arabia, mashallah. Uh, Brother Saeed is back. Uh, may Allah grant you as well the highest level of Jannah. Our dear brother, Sheikh Abdul Rahman Bouni, uh, our local brother. Good to have you, Sheikh Abdul Rahman. Uh, we have Yaqub from North Carolina. We have Sultana. Assalamu uh, alaikum wa rahmatullah. Imran, that's a new name. Amin gains a new name. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hafidhul haq wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, we have drama. Wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, Ummu Iman. Wa alaykum assalam from Canada. Brother Adam. Wa alaykum assalam. Uh, sister Tara, our local sister. Wa alaykum assalam. Atila from Toronto. Wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ibrahim Hussain. Wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Our dear brother Adam, our local brother. And we have Abu Bakr Muhammad. Wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, from Texas, uh, Ramadan Hassan, wa alaykum assalam, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Ramadan. Our brother Ad, uh, Milad uh, from uh, San Diego, Milad al-Ma'il, wa alaykum assalam, brother Milad. Uh, inshallah, myself and brother Milad will be having a podcast. Uh, brother Milad, if you please, if you can uh, uh, um, uh, type in the link, uh, which uh, a half hour after I finish, inshallah, 7.30 uh, my time. Uh, if you can type the link so anybody is interested uh, to uh, uh, to carry on with us, he's going to be asking me a series of questions. We have Al-Ameen Badji, wa alaykum as-salam, uh, Basrat uh, uh, Khalid, wa alaykum as-salam, Ana Thomas, wa alaykum as-salam, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mashallah, a lot of new faces, mashallah. Uh, we have uh, Lands Roots, wa alaykum salam, Shahlal Hassan, wa alaykum salam from India, all the way from India, mashallah. Uh, Saif, uh, Saiful Islam, mashallah, that's a beautiful name from Colorado. Good to have you, Saif. Uh, tufu Tufu, wa alaykum salam, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh from UK. Anwar al Amin, wa alaykum salam. Uh, Anna Thomas, I graduated from IOU with. The diploma in Islamic studies. I encourage my uh, me to go further. Yes, yes, you should, inshallah. Uh, Anwar al Amin, Jazakumullah khaira. That's good for now. Uh, let me uh, make the announcements quickly, inshallah. And I will repeat this announcement afterwards, inshallah. Uh, it's always Jazakumullah khaira for supporting uh, CMCC and Islamic Online University. Uh, both, inshallah. Uh, we need to support these organizations, brothers and sisters in Islam. Uh, here is regarding the competition. Uh, you should have already received an email message from our uh, CMCC uh, administration. If you have not, then there is something wrong with your registration. We just have to look into that. But uh, here is how the book looks like. Know your Lord is, is uh, we're, we're like the final stages. Amazon has to do some type of check-in on us and uh, but this is the uh, book, insha'Allah. Uh, of course, of course, this uh, book is uh, uh, number one, volume one. I'm planning to have up to 10 or 12, insha'Allah, volumes. Again, this is the Right Belief series, which I presented like 10 uh, years ago, or maybe a little bit uh, less than that, maybe seven years ago uh, uh, in Masjid Abu Bakr. I'm just redoing it in, in different order, in different order. Uh, and I'm going to break it into volumes. So this is volume one, which is Know Your Lord. Uh, volume two, Worship Your Lord. Uh, and, and, and on, inshallah. And I'm going to go to the angels, the jinn, and all of this, inshallah, bi uh, This is the book, bi ta'ala, Know Your Lord, volume one. Uh, inshallah, the, uh, my staff is, is finishing up with the uh, 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 arrangements uh, to release... Uh, uh, this book, inshallah, on Amazon and also in Kindle. But this is how it looks like, inshallah. The Right Belief Series, Volume 1, Know Your Lord. The school. The school. I think all of you are waiting for the school. Almost there. I, I tell you, a lot of work. The brothers are booting, uh, Dr. Ahmed Salim and his staff are booting a lot of work. Uh, you know, having a... Uh, uh, an independent online platform is very, very uh, demanding in a way. Uh, uh, you could adopt online, uh, you know, uh, 
platforms but there is no guarantees and and so forth so inshallah uh, is coming soon but here is what we have uh, we are still working on finalizing the platform uh, the website to enroll your children will be ready next week inshallah we need your dua but brothers and sisters in islam il minhal academy and that's the flyer to the to the right that's where the uh, the uh, uh, the curriculum is going to look like uh, the first 10 people register will receive 15 percent discount uh, if you want, uh, please email us at info at our cmcc.org. Info at our cmcc.org. Uh, the email is showing right now on the screen. If you want to register your children, uh, just send an email. There is no money, no commitment until we complete the, uh, com the package and, and let you know exactly how it is and how it will be and all of that. But if you want to be amongst those first hundred uh, people as bear the fr uh, and receive the 15% discount, uh, the first hundred, just send an email to info at our CMCC uh, mentioning how many children are you planning to register, where are you from, what state, and what are their grades. That's all we need to know. Like I want to register, I have two children, uh, fifth grade, sixth grade, second grade, third grade. And I'm from this, and my name is so-and-so, and here is my contact, and we prefer a phone number, please. So that's all what you need to do, inshallah, just to uh, be counted amongst those first hundred uh, comers. Uh, we were supposed to add the, uh, uh, the email to the flyer, but subhanallah, uh, somebody did not. Uh, uh, we're going to update that flyer and send it back to you, inshallah. Um, I'm going to try to do these announcements uh, once again later on in, on, on the program towards the end of it, inshallah. Let me begin with Surah Al-Hajj without any further delay. طيب. Surah Al-Hajj, brothers and sisters in Islam, the higher aim, the journey to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. The higher aim is the journey to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, where do we... Uh, like like al al Imam al-Baqa'i, uh, he said, one of the keys to depict a higher aim of a chapter is the name. Especially if the name is established uh, by evidence, because some names are, uh, uh, يعني, uh, that's why you may find uh, certain chapters with different names. Uh, like Surah Al-Hajj is only known by this name, Surah Al-Hajj. There is no other name for it but Al-Hajj. Uh, then you know that the aim of this particular chapter is about Al-Hajj. طيب, what is the meaning of Al-Hajj? When you define a term, the first thing that you do is you define it linguistically and then technically. Linguistically is... Uh, technically, I'm sorry, is going to Mecca and performing certain rituals according to the Sunnah of the Prophet that, uh, to complete the pillar of Islam. That's the technical. But the linguistic, linguistic is to take a journey, Al-Qasdu, to journey to uh, an exalted one, uh, to journey ila azim. Al-Hajju huwa al-Qasdu ila azim. Uh, that you, uh, you, 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 you take yourself on a journey to a revered one. You're getting that? A revered one, brothers and sisters in Islam. A revered one. Uh, that's where I, uh, I got this higher aim. Uh, uh, again, that's what triggered the higher aim, brothers and sisters in Islam. Let me just introduce the surah to you quickly. Uh, surah Al-Hajj meaning the pilgrimage, is the 22nd chapter of the Qur'an. It has 78 verses. The surah takes its name from the 27th, from the 27th verse. وَأَذِّنْ فِي النَّاسِ بِالْحَجِّ يَأْتُوكَ رِجَالًا وَعَلَى كُلِّ ضَامِرٍ وعلى كل ضامر يأتين من كل فج عميق 
and make adhan to mankind. So they will come to perform Hajj brothers and sisters in Islam. Uh, so the name comes from verse number 27. Uh, of course, the only, Islam has five pillars. Shahadatan, Salah, Zakah, Sawm. The fifth pillar of Islam. The only pillar in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala names a chapter after it. We don't have a chapter called the Salah. We don't. Uh, some of you may refute this by saying, but Sheikh, one of the names of Surah Al-Fatiha is a Salah. Yeah, but what is meant by Salah? A Dua. قَسَّمْتُ الصَّلَاةَ بَيْنَ عَبْدِي نِصْفَيْنِ بَيْنِي وَبَيْنَ عَبْدِي نِصْفَيْنِ الحديث القدسي. I divided Al-Fatiha, the Dua, between me and my... When he says, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, when he prays me with Alhamdulillah, Hamidan ya Abdi. For Salah here does not mean the five daily prayers. No. It means what? It means the Dua. One of the, the linguistic meaning of a Salah is a Dua. Some of you may hear this for the first time, but a uh, Dua. Tayyib. The only chapter in the Quran, also, by the way, brothers and sisters in Islam, and that's, I think, the next bullet has two sajdas. No other chapter in the Quran where you have uh, two sajdas. The only chapter, one at the uh, almost at the very beginning and one at the very end almost. And uh, uh, something so interesting, brothers and sisters in Islam, uh, the sajda, uh, the, the two sajdas uh, in, in, in Surah Al-Hajj, subhanallah, uh, uh, it was established by evidence that every time Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would read them, he would make sujood. And, and uh, uh, I think Umar made that statement, if I'm not mistaken. He said that whoever is not planning to make sujood when he recites the two sajdas in Surah Al-Hajj, he should refrain from reciting them. Uh, uh, also, uh, look at the second sajda, which I, I think... Uh, Verse 77, if I'm not mistaken. Se yeah, 77, right. 77, look at verse 77. Remember our, our method here, bring a Quran. Look at verse 77, please, please. Open the Mus'haf, 77. Please, come on. You should have the Mus'haf ready with me, right? 77. Yeah. <laughs> O oh, ye who believe, make ruku'a, make sujood, plural. Worship your Lord and keep acting righteously, doing good deeds so that you may be successful in the hereafter. Imagine that. For, uh, the command to the ummah and there is an account that says this was the last sajda revealed in the Mus'haf. This was the last sajda in the Mus'haf. So the command to the Ummah at large, make sujood, make ruku'ah. Remember the first sajda in what chapter? The first sajda in what chapter? Huh? Come on, come on students of the Quran, in what chapter? Iqra. Huh? Look at it. Kalla la tuti'hu wasjud. So the command was to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Obey him not The one who is trying to prevent you from making sujood This one, obey him not Make sujood and bring yourself near Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala These are beautiful things to know about the, uh, the surahs, brothers and sisters in Islam. There are three calls. In Surah Al-Hajj to mankind. Allahu Akbar. That's why I'm, 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 I want to tell you that Hajj is a universal. An international. Three calls. Ya ayyuhan nas. Ya ayyuhan nas, ya ayyuhan nas, and there is one more. The Prophet was asked to say to the people, Qul ya ayyuhan nas. Look at the verses. Do you have the Mus'haf ready? 
chapter 1, chapter 5, 73, and there is another, but I just wanted to get the, the straightforward, ya ayyuha nas, in the chapter. But there is another one where the Prophet was asked to say, قُلْ ya Muhammad, say, O Muhammad, ya ayyuha nas, O mankind, inni, I am, Rasulullahi, the messenger of Allah, ilaykum to you, jami'a, all of you, I am international. So only one call, Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu, which is the sajda. O ye who believe, verse number 77. These are important things to know about the surah. Is it Makki, Madani, or both? <laughs> Subhanallah. Surah Al-Hajj contains the qualities of both the Makki and the Madani surahs. The scholars are puzzled, have a very hard time identifying it whether to be Makki or Madani, the only surah that they say it's both Makki and Madani. Because the qualities of the Makki are there, the qualities of the Madani are there. Ya ayyuhal nas is there. Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu is there. Ya ayyuhal nas is the Makki. Quality of a Makki. Ya ayyuhal nas, ya ayyuhal ladina amanu is the Madani. Both there. Udina lil ladina is there. In light of its style and subjects, look at the blue here, it appears that the, uh, the first 24 verses were sent down in the last phase of the Mecca stage, a little bit before the Hijrah. As for the rest of the Surah during the initial period of the Madani Surah, so this is regarding whether it is Mecca or whether it is Madani. طيب, look at this, the higher aim, like I can explain that, the higher aim, the journey to Allah. Obviously, we base the higher aim, the journey to Allah, on the linguistic definition of Hajj, which is the name of the Surah. Hajj linguistically means to proceed to the one who is revered and magnified. All of mankind will have to journey to the revered and magnified one. The Surah explains the nature of the journey, the outcome, the challenges while journeying, and what we must do, and the provision one must take on board for the trip. That's what the surah is about. The surah teaches us how to journey back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How to make the trip back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what the aim of the surah. The aim of the surah. Okay, this is all introduction. Are you ready? But always, brothers and sisters in Islam, if I chose a theme of a chapter... Uh, uh, to be the journey back to Allah, uh, which is uh, in our context here is Hajj. You have to explain that concept. Like remember when we talked about Surah Al-Anbiya, we explained our belief in the prophets and the messengers. Remember when we talked about Taha, we said uh, happiness, what is happiness? So you have to explain the concept. So Hajj, brothers and sisters in Islam, broadcasts seven messages look at them in different colors look at them seven messages of course we can come up with more than that but uh, these are the seven messages that Hajj broadcast the call of Ibrahim again and again the legacy of Ibrahim and his family uh, it's a practice to the journey to Allah. We practice how to journey back to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. The source of unity and strength. The significance of taqwa, which is the provision for the trip. A reminder of our duty towards mankind and a warning. So let's go over these seven messages quickly. And then uh, we will go, inshallah, into the subjects if we have time today. If not, next, inshallah. So the first uh, call or message, uh, and I mean by broadcast, is an international. Hajj brothers and sisters in Islam somehow uh, is an international thing because of the amount of people gathering in one place, convening in one place. Even non-Muslims uh, uh, broadcast it. Uh, some of them may be to twist it and, 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 and speak ill of us, but somehow, uh, especially on the day of Arafah, uh, it's a, rec a recognized 
a recognized event uh, worldwide, a universal, the, the event of Hajj receives an international recognition. You got these few Muslims uh, standing there. I'll, I'll take you back to the time of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Remember from the lectures of the seerah, we said that uh, the house of Allah in Mecca was already built before Ibrahim alayhi salam. Indeed, the first house which was placed for mankind is the one in Mecca. The scholars of Tafsir, they say it was uh, brought down uh, during the uh, time of uh, Adam alayhi salam. During the time of Adam alayhi salam. Now, brothers and sisters in Islam, during the flooding of Nuh, the house was what? Demolished. When Ibrahim alayhi salam was commanded to take Hagar and Ismail to Mecca, and this is a biblical account too, in his way out, and uh, this was also mentioned in a chapter called Ibrahim. Ibrahim raised his hand and hands and he made this dua. Rabbana inni askantu min durriyati biwad biwad ghayri di zarrin inda baytika almuharram my Lord, I have placed a branch of my family in the desert near your sacred house. Imagine Ibrahim at the time left who? Ismail the baby. We know from Surah Al-Baqarah that Ismail was helping his father raise the foundation of the Kaaba. So the house existed. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. So Ibrahim and Ismail, that's why we shouldn't say they built. No, they erected. They it was demolished because of the uh, flood. Now they raised the pillars again. طيب. After Ibrahim alayhi salam concluded uh, the pillars, uh, uh, raising the foundation, him and his son Ismail alayhi salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded him saying, Now, O oh Ibrahim, I want you to call upon mankind to come to perform Hajj. Allahu Akbar. Uh, and, and this actually was uh, uh, mentioned in an authentic hadith in Sunan, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Ibn Abi Hatib ibn Jarir al-Tabari min kalam Abdullah ibn Abbas. Lamman taha Ibrahimu wa Ismailu min raf'i qawa'id al-bayt when they concluded raising the foundation of the Kaaba, Allah said to Ibrahim, and that's what is mentioned in the verse, where the name of the chapter is taken, Call upon mankind to come and perform Hajj. So Ibrahim, so Allah said to Ibrahim, make Adhan, make Adhan, uh, so that people can come and perform Hajj. So Ibrahim said to Allah, Oh Allah, who will hear me? I'm in the desert. I'm in the desert. Who's going to hear me? Allahu Akbar, Allah Akbar. And that's the first message. Look, look, look what Allah said to Ibrahim alayhi salam. Ya Ibrahim, O oh Ibrahim, alayka al-adhanu wa alayna al-balaq. You make the adhan and we will convey your adhan. That's not your business. <laughs> Allah Akbar is a message to, to anybody who is worried about his da'wah or his call. Wallahi. Just be sincere in your da'wah, and Allah will convey it. That's not your business. Imagine Ibrahim was him and Ismail only in the desert. That's it. Look how many people here is called now. That's a message. Trust Allah. Don't worry. Don't worry about this, brothers and sisters in Islam. Don't worry about it. Just do your work. Do your part. You want your work to reach the world. It will reach the world. Imagine Ibrahim and Ismail were alone in the desert. Now, the whole world, the whole world, broadcast, even the non-Muslims, even the non-Muslims, they broadcast their message, 
they're called their adhan so that's the first message uh, ibrahim alayhi salam when he climbed the mountain of safa uh, or uh, some other words uh, mountain of arafat he called upon mankind oh ya ayyuhan nas inna allah kataba alaykum al hajja fahujju subhanallah everyone brothers and sisters in islam who goes to hajj saying labbaik allahumma labbaik labbaik la sharika lak labbaik inna al hamda responding to the call of ibrahim alayhi salam responding to the call of ibrahim so that's the first message that hajj broadcast brothers and sisters in islam hajj broadcasts another message which is dear to us the sacrifice of a family for the uh, remember when we explained the higher aim of Surah Al-Baqarah, huh? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala presented to us three models. The pilot, Adam, the story of Adam, it was a, a trial, a pilot. That's why we called it a pilot, a pilot, a trial, a practice. Okay, that's how it's going to be. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala presented to us the cautionary tale. Don't be like them. Don't do like them. Bani Israel. Don't do like them. Don't. Don't. Huh. But here is the third one. And that's where the mention of the house and raising the house. Ibrahim and his family. وَإِذِ بِتَلَى إِبْرَاهِيمَ رَبُّهُ بِكَلِمَاتٍ فَأَتَمَّهُنْ قَالَ إِنِّي جَاعِلُكَ لِلنَّاسِ إِمَامًا قَالَ وَمِنْ ذُرِّيَّتِي قَالَ لَا يَنَالُ عَهْدِ الظَّالِمِينَ Ibrahim is the rule model. Imagine this, Ibrahim. Subhanallah, every year, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just a comparison between the cautionary tale, Bani Israel. Bani Israel were asked to slaughter a cow. What did they do? They kept nagging, what cow, what color? And what is this and what is that? We, we were confused. Help us out and all of this. Ismail Ibrahim alayhi salam was commanded to slaughter his only son. And 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 guess that the children of Israel were, were asked by a messenger. Ibrahim saw a dream. Just to show you submission. Submission. Walidalik. وَمَنْ يَرْغَبُ عَنْ مِلَّةِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ إِلَّا مَنْ سَفِهَا نَفْسَهُ وَلَقَدْ اصْطَفَيْنَاهُ فِي الدُّنْيَا وَإِنَّهُ فِي الْآخِرَةِ لَمِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ إِذْ قَالَ لَهُ رَبُّهُ أَسْلِمْ His Lord said to him, submit to me. قَالَ أَسْلَمْتُ لِرَبِّ الْعَالَمِ Not only Ibrahim. Sarah. Sarah, brothers and sisters in Islam. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to say something that some of the wives who are watching me now may not like it, but I'm going to say it. Imagine a wife goes to her husband. She knows that he wants children to pass on the religion to them. And she cannot bear children. And, and subhanAllah, this is mentioned in the book of Genesis in the Old Testament. You know, I know that you want children. I know that you want to pass on Islam. I know that you've been trying to, to preach uh, monotheism to mankind, but it's not working. But you know what? Marry my mate. Marry my mate. Ah. I, 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 and, and by the way, a lot of you don't understand that, that the story. Uh, don't, don't, uh, uh, don't uh, uh, maybe a lot of you do, but uh, I shouldn't say that. But... Um, how Hagar came into the house of Ibrahim to begin with. Uh, when Ibrahim السلام, migrated from uh, Iraq to Palestine after that trial with the Namrud, with the fire, with his father, with the people, he said, I'm going to do hijrah. Do hijrah. Oh. And, and this is one of the things that we may have to do, brothers and sisters in Islam, to journey back to Allah, to make hijrah. Remember, your, your, your ultimate goal is what? Is to, to journey back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's your goal. You may have to strive. You may have to... Uh, for Ibrahim, he's journeying back to Allah. And imagine this. So, uh, 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 in any rate, when they arrived Palestine, uh, Prophet Lut, 
the one who was sent to the LGBT, let's use their terms now, uh, the homosexual, the Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, uh, also was on the trip with them. So, uh, there was a drought in Palestine, so they went to Egypt. Al Hadith al Bukhari wa Muslim. So, uh, they used to have a wicked ruler, a king. Uh, the, the Prophet called him Jabbar, Ardul Jabbar, the oppressor. So, uh, this oppressor uh, said to his uh, uh, border control, Whenever you spot a beautiful woman, you have to bring her to me. So they spotted Sarah. Sarah was extremely beautiful. Yani, uh, her, uh, yani, uh, uh, a lot of the scholars of Hadith, when they explain this Hadith, uh, Yusuf was given half of the beauty of the creation. There is a wording of this Hadith. Yusufu, laqad utiya Yusufu wa ummuhu. And his mother. What is meant by his mother here? Uh, not the immediate mother, the grandmother. Meaning Sarah. So the king started, uh, tried to rape her, huh? and at the end, Hagar was given to her. So subhanallah, Hagar conceives. I want to get to the point here. Ibrahim is to take her to the desert in Mecca. And, and, and remember the story of uh, the dua, uh, Safa and Mar. That's what, you see, Hajj is a play of the sacrifices of this family. Uh, uh, you know, and, 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 and look like Sarah, we, we, we talked about Sarah. Look, Ibrahim alayhi salam is leaving Hagar in the desert. Imagine you take, uh, uh, I mean, you take your wife, I mean, if you've been to Mecca, you will understand what we're talking about in the middle of a nowhere, in the middle of nowhere. Huh? And all what she wanted to know is, Allahu amaraka bihada, did Allah command you to do this? Submission. The, the highest level of submission to Allah in this family. And that is why, brothers and sisters in Islam, we are asked to take them as role models. And every year, Hajj, and whoever goes to Hajj and he doesn't know the story of Hajj, I have a whole series, I think seven, 14 episodes, uh, called The Story of Hajj. Maybe my admin can, but I, I did it very early, very early, The Story of Hajj. I have lecture called The Story of Hajj. You not knowing that story, there is something wrong with you. So Hajj is a reminder of this again, the commitment of this family. Not only this, brothers and sisters in Islam, a child, uh, a young boy, imagine his father takes him for a walk and he tells him, listen, I saw a dream that I'm slaying you. Ya abati fa'al ma tu'maru satajiduni insha'allahu minas sabirin. My father, do what you commanded. You will find me patient. Ah. So brothers and sisters in Islam, Hajj broadcast this message. Let's try to finish the seven messages at least today. Hajj, brothers and sisters in Islam, is a practice of the journey back to Allah. Subhanallah. Look, look at these little things here. Look at these little things. The ihram. When we, when we die, isn't journey back to Allah begins with, of course, we're journeying back to Allah every day. Every second passes by that you're closer to your destination. And that's what Al-Fudayl ibn Ayat uh, uh, said to one of the people, how old are you? He said, 60 years. He said, <laughs> since 60 years, you've been traveling back to Allah and you're about to get to destination. But the, 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 the practical side of the trip begins with, the sh with death when you die. Then they will shroud you. Look at the ihram that, 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 that the hujjaj wear. Leaving behind everything, those whom you loved, things which you loved, or those you resented, or those you disliked, or things you did, all gone. It's history. Gone. <laughs> Hajj reminds you when you leave, leaving behind everything. Uh, you know, when, when, when you go to Hajj, you're supposed, لبيك اللهم لبيك. We read Hadith Abi Sa'id al Khudri radiallahu an, when, when the person is carried uh, in the janaza, if he was righteous and pious, he will say, let's go. Let's go. That's what Labbayka is. Labbayka means Ijaba ba'da Ijaba. I'm responding, I'm responding. Okay, take me there, take me there, take me there, take me there. Take me there, take me there. Yeah, that's exactly when you when you go at the Allahumma labbaik, labbaik la Oh Allah, I'm coming to you, I'm responding to you, I'm responding to you. Likewise, when we die, if the person was righteous, uh, uh, when he is carried on the on the on the on the, on the grave, uh, uh, 
تيك مي تيك مي قدموني اذا حملت الجنازه على اكتاف الرجال ان كان صالحا حديث ابي سعيد في صحيح الامام البخاري if he was righteous and pious he will say what take me take me uh, uh, bring me force bring me force but the other one will say no 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 don't take me don't take, delay me delay me تلبيه عرفة the land of gathering very similar imagine if we're standing in the land of gathering and and all the uh, all the people are standing and if people are picking imagine that, that the condition of the people in the land of gathering Wallahi, very similar you you go there you know people are, they, they, you know ya rabb ighfir li ya rabb ya rabb you know it, it, it's it's a, a similar it's a play of the day of judgment it's it's you, you go and that's why if you're able to perform hajj you need to perform hajj because it shows you all these things that's how your journey back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be. Look at the different colors of people standing out there. Even, not only this, you know the only object in earth from Jannah is what? The only object. There is no other objects. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? Remember the seerah? Huh? Remember the seerah? What? The heavenly, that's why we called it the heavenly stone, the black stone. You go and, and, and you try to touch it. I want to get there. I want to get there to Jannah. Huh? I want to get there to Jannah. Zamzam. Subhanallah. Just measure Zamzam with the bond of the Prophet. You know, you're so thirsty in Hajj. Sometimes when you're doing Tawaf and when you go and drink Zamzam, it's exactly on the Day of Judgment. You're going to be so thirsty and you're going to wish to have that drink from the hand of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The bottom line is, uh, brothers and sisters in Islam, um, that is why uh, a lot of the scholars were puzzled with the fact that uh, uh, this chapter is called the Hajj, and look at the first verses of, of the, the, the chapter. Look at the first verses of the chapter. Ya ayyuhan nasu taqu rabbakum inna zalzalata saati shay'un azim. O mankind, fear your Lord, have taqwa, because the hour and the, 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 the events of the hour, one of them is the earthquake, but the other events of the hour are uh, uh, tremendous. What is the relevance between Hajj and this? Yeah, because Hajj reminds you of the journey. Hajj reminds you of the journey, brothers and sisters in Islam. But again, I think that's the, uh, uh, the, the the message or the next message that Hajj broadcast. The next message, brothers and sisters in Islam, and this is extremely important. Uh, Hajj shows the Muslims that their strength in unity and how does unity happens because a lot of us go into unity we need to be united we need to be united you know unity is a harvest is a result is not a means is not a means you, you don't you don't try to achieve no do you know when do we achieve unity when we all do what allah wants us to do uh, hypothetical here. Imagine Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala letting the Muslims decide when is Hajj? Where is Hajj? The rituals of Hajj. What, sh what should we wear for Hajj? And on. What can we eat? What can we say? You think the Muslims are going to, no way. Allah decided the place, the time, the uniform, what to say. So why Hajj reflects unity? Because we're all doing the same thing. And that's why, by the way, uh, Hajj is one of the pillars where you don't find a lot of variations, madhab-wise, uh, school of thoughts-wise. Why? Because the Prophet was there, 120,000 companions narrated his Hajj. There is no place for opinions. There, there is no place for opinions. O only the, the, the difference of opinions uh, arises uh, once it comes to Hajj uh, when the Saudi change certain uh, things to the building, be, to, you know, to accommodate more people or something. But other than that, everybody, that's why we unite. So the source of unity is what? Is to do what? To do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanallah, brothers and sisters in Islam, regardless regardless of the condition of this ummah and how weak we are and how much the rest of the nations are eating of us 
like the prophet mentioned in hadith uh, thawban they will eat of you like they eat from a plate imagine this and they will invite one another they will invite one another to eat of you but subhanallah had sends a message we're still strong we're still strong a silent message we're still strong we're the only ummah in the face of this earth who worships allah and here we are imagine uh, and 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 uh, i tell you quite frankly when i when i used to do uh, tawaf especially the first tawaf uh, i i always questioned yeah you know you're reflecting upon why do we maintain the sunnah of littiba' which is uncovering the right shoulder and raml littiba' the seven the first seven rounds if this is your first uh, tawaf tawaf al-umrah or tawaf al-qudum they call it or if you're doing hajj يعني, the first tawaf that you do around the kaaba you're supposed if the man is supposed to uncover his right shoulder and you're supposed to try to jog the first three rounds called the raml why ah to show that we're strong <laughs> to show the strength islam islam is the source of our happiness of our strength even though we maintain that uh, of course the prophet did it because uh, when he he came to make up the umrah which umrah al qada al hudaybiyah the following year uh, they spread the rumors that these guys are weak and they are sick muslims are sick imagine ah oh, fa to show unity and and you show it in that context this religion look at this one of the higher aims of the rituals of hajj uh, is is unity and unity happens i think i explained that but look at the uh, kana uh, uh, the, this religion which we are paying uh, we are paying a worldly price happily for to commit to it is the source of our happiness and the source of our strength brothers and sisters in islam the sunnah of raml and al tiba this is a show of unity brothers hajj broadcast that this ummah will not die an ummah that will never die until and that is why by the way it's a blot to stop people from performing hajj yeah. and and that verse is mentioned there but of course we understand this here because of the uh, covid 19 we do understand that but ta'til uh, al-hajj uh, is is a big inna alladhina kafaru one of the blots of the disbelievers is what to hinder people from going to the uh, house of allah inna alladhina kafaru wa yasudduna an sabilillahi wal masjid al-haram alladhi ja'alnahu lin nas sawaa it, it's one of the blots that we shouldn't uh, fall into brothers and sisters in islam the next message the significance of taqwa allahu akbar subhanallah from the first verse ya ayyuha an-nas ittaqu rabbakum ittaqu rabbakum what is taqwa and inshallah when we go into the subjects because a whole section of the surah the, the whole uh, uh, part which talks about hajj uh, engages taqwa what is taqwa you, you know for you to understand what is the meaning of taqwa? Uh, look at this verse, which is verse 37. 37. Oh. You know, one of the acts of, of the 10 days of the Hijjah is the Qurban. Or for the people of Hajj, we call it Nusuk. Allah is saying to us what? Allah is not going to get the blood, is not going to get any benefit from the blood or from the meat or from the bones. Huh? But what we will get here, taqwa. What is taqwa? Oh, Allah commanded me to wear this ihram. Okay, I'm going to make sure that the ihram is this way. Okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded me to offer a qurbani. I'm not going to go and pick up any qurbani. No, I'm going to make sure that the, 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 the qurbani is nice, is, 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 is healthy, is, 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 is not one-eyed, is not... Uh, you see, you, 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 uh, look, look, look at this. 
وَمَنْ يُعَظِّمْ شَعَائِرَ اللَّهِ فَإِنَّهَا مِنْ تَقْوَى الْقُلُوبِ Whoever exalts and pays attention to the rituals which Allah legislated, it's a sign that you have taqwa of Allah. When you exalt, the command is a reflection of your exalting, exaltation or your magnific reverence to the one who commanded. You, you understand? الأمر, that you exalt the one who commands. That's what taqwa is. You see, that's what taqwa is. Oh, Allah commanded me to pray five times a day. Okay, I'm going to make sure that because Allah is the one who commanded me. I'm going to do it in the best manner possible. Allah commanded me to do hajj. I'm going to prepare. I'm going to study. Allah. So this is what hajj is. You know, it teaches you that concept of taqwa, brothers and sisters in Islam. Two more messages. Wallahi, those two messages, we need to pay attention to them. Wallahi, brothers and sisters in Islam. Uh, we are negligent of our duty towards mankind. Negligent. We need to warn them against this day. You see, we need to go to the Muslim. Uh, uh, one, one of the brothers or the sisters, I think, asked the question the other day, how do you convey a message to an Muslim? Talk about the hereafter. Look from the get-go, the surah. Ya ayyuha nas oh mankind, fear Allah. There is a day of judgment. Our duty is to warn mankind, brothers and sisters in Islam, that's a responsibility to warn mankind and invite them to what will make them happy in this world and successful in the year after. We must be straightforward in our da'wah to them. The priority is to warn them. The Prophet, when he stood up, you know, when he stood up, in the, when he was commanded to convey the message to his family, he stood up and he said, listen, I'm here to warn you the day of judgment. There is a day of judgment coming. And you better be ready. This is a business. This is a serious business. We need to go back to this. Subhanallah, look at Hajj. And that's the last message. Ever wondered why the surah started with the warning to humanity, even though the central theme is Hajj? The gathering of the Muslims in Hajj is the gathering of those who chose to submit to Allah voluntarily in this world. And they are fulfilling the fifth pillar of their submission to Allah. Meanwhile, as if this gathering is telling the world, what you see is a minor form of the more significant type of meeting which will take place on the Day of Judgment and everyone will be part of it unwillingly. That's the message which had broadcast to the world and that's why Allah made it a universal. You see those people who are meeting here in Mecca, in my house, there will be another meeting and you're going to be part of it whether you like it or not. That's the Day of Judgment. Those people, they chose voluntarily because every one of us is given the freedom to choose, to submit to me. And part of their submission is they are coming to fulfill the final pillar of uh, the last pillar of Islam. Oh. You non-Muslims out there watching this, remember there will be a day where you will come. Look at the verses in Surah Maryam. وَمَا يَنْبَغِي لِلرَّحْمَنِ أَنْ يَتَّخِذَ وَلَدًا إِنْ كُلُّ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ إِلَّا آتِ الرَّحْمَنِ عَبْدًا لَقَدْ أَحْصَاهُمْ وَعَدَّهُمْ عَدًّا وَكُلُّهُمْ آتِيهِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ فَرْدًا There is none in the heavens and the earth but comes into the most beneficent as a slave. Verily, he knows each one of them and he has counted them a full counting. And every one of them will come to him alone on the day of judgment. Allahu Akbar. That is what the main message which Hajj broadcast to humanity. There will be another bigger gathering. But everyone will be there including you. So you better get ready for it brothers and sisters in Islam. We're done with these seven messages. Now inshallah this is our next subjects in light of the higher aim. Uh, 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 the, the surah is wealthy, is rich, 12 subjects. Uh, if you want to take a picture of that, because we're going to start with this next lecture, insha'Allah, bi'idhnillahi ta'ala. Basically, uh, these are the 12 things which is going to help you get ready for the journey in light of the surah. In light of this. The surah talks about how to uh, prepare, how to travel, how to go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's it, brothers and sisters in Islam. I, I rest my case here, insha'Allah. 
uh, let me see if I have any questions or anybody want to call inshallah bismi lai ta'ala uh, all right uh, okay let me see anybody has a question in our country people going to hajj used to say I'm going not meant to be back again yeah all right interesting uh, okay jazakallah khair brother Tijan for your dua uh, let me see here okay um let me make a couple of announcements and uh, please, if you have a question, you can call the number 303-500-5101. But let me make the announcements again. So this way you were, uh, were, uh, we're good, inshallah. We still have four more, more minutes. Uh, brothers and sisters in Islam, if you have not received an email from my staff regarding uh, the, uh, uh, the competition and your participation in the competition, then there is something wrong that they didn't have your name or something, please. Uh, send them the original email and they will add you to the list inshallah but you should have received some instructions so far jazakumullah khair and for supporting cmcc and islamic online university both inshallah uh, brothers and sisters in islam this is the book it's coming out soon uh, we're finalizing the final things know your lord that's volume one from the series the right belief series know your lord inshallah that's the first one the right belief series volume one know your lord uh, the book is going to be available in Amazon and, and Kindle. You have to order it. Uh, again, it's a donation to CMCC. I'm not in the business of, of, of selling books here. It's it's a help to, to the organization, inshallah. Uh, so it's more of a donation. Yani make it in the, the, the school brothers and sisters in Islam. Uh, I need to add the email here. Uh, but uh, for those who are interested, the first participants, uh, the first 100, uh, we're still working on the platform and the website where you can enroll your children. But the first 100 participants will receive 15% discount. Just send an email so you uh, keep yourself uh, in this info at our cmcc.org, inshallah. Uh, that is the email and that's the uh, program uh, mentioned here in this. We're still working on the platform, inshallah. Hopefully we'll be ready before the, uh, the time, inshallah. This is how can you help CMCC. Uh, may Allah reward you, Rabbil Alameen. Uh, with this, brothers and sisters in Islam, Jazakum Allah Khaira. Uh, may Allah reward you, and inshallah, we'll, uh, we'll see if we have any questions here. I still have a couple of more minutes. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. Islamic Online University, brothers, uh, uh, Anna Thomas. For someone looking to increase their knowledge, yes, Islamic Online University is a place to go. Uh, question, if you're still unable to pay all the debts, but you have enough to live well and enough to go to Hajj, is going to Hajj compulsory? Yes, it's, it's it, you, you, you see, uh, if you have assets, uh, Brother Amadou, uh, that can pay off uh, your debts, uh, if something happens to you in Hajj, uh, then you should do it, then you should do it. Brothers and sisters in Islam, it's a big mistake that you're able to perform Hajj and you don't do it. Uh, so you need to strive to do it, inshallah. Okay, uh, Sheikh, verse 18, please explain in the context of uh, 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 chapter 18. What is that? Yeah, yeah, inshallah, the sajda, the first sajda, inshallah. We're going to come to this when I explain the next section. Uh, that's the first sajda, inshallah. وَكَثِيرٌ حَقَّ عَلَيْهِ الْعَذَابِ وَكَثِيرٌ حَقَّ عَلَيْهِ الْعَذَابِ uh, Yeah, inshallah, I will explain this. The sajda, inshallah, it's beautiful, the sajda. Uh, طيب, uh, uh, Sheikh watching from Doha. MashaAllah, that's beautiful. Uh, Jazakallah khair, city. Jazakallah khair. Uh, okay, let me see here. If I, uh, two years ago. Okay. Let me see. Assalamu uh, alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi Yes, Ismail, how are you doing? Alhamdulillah, Sheikh, how are you? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, how's it going? Alhamdulillah, Sheikh, one question. Sure. Uh, does uh, Hajj count for a child who's below the age of 15? The uh, brother Ismail is asking regarding uh, does Hajj counts, uh, meaning counts, it counts, but not the mandatory Hajj. Uh, if a child before the age of puberty performs Hajj, uh, he gets the reward, his parents get the reward, uh, but is not counted as the mandatory Hajj because uh, for him or her to perform the mandatory Hajj, uh, it must take place after the age of puberty, inshallah. 
جزاكم الله خيرا برذرز اند سيسترز ان الاسلام ان شاء الله نيكست اي هاف ان هاف اور هوبفلي اور برذر ميلاد بوستد ذا لينك كويشن اند انسر اون وان اسلاميك وان وان مسج فاونديشن ال هاف ا برودكاست فور ا هاف اور اولموست جوين مي ان هاف اور اف نوت ان شاء الله اي ويل سي يو ساتردي ات 12 نون اسك امام كريم لايف شو ويل هاف ا ساتردي ان شاء الله ات 12 نون باذن الله تعالى جزاكم الله خيرا سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك واتوب اليك والحمد لله رب العالمين خذت فؤادك الايام فتى وتنحت جسمك الساعات نحتى وتدعوك المنون دعاء صدق الا يا صاح انت اريد انت اراك تحب عرسا ذات خدر ابت طلاقها الاكياس بتا تنام الدهر ويحك في غطيط بها حتى اذا مت انتبهتا فكم ذا انت مخدوع وحتى متى لا ترعوي عنها وحتى ابا بكر دعوتك لو اجبت الى ما فيه حظك لو عقلت الى علم تكون به اماما مطاعا ان نهيت وان امرت ويجلو ما بعينك من غشاها ويهديك السبيل اذا ضللت وتحمل منه في ناديك تاجا ويكسوك الجمال اذا عريتا ينالك نفعه ما دمت حيا ويبقى ذكره لك ان ذهبتا هو العضب المهند ليس ينبو تصيب به مقاتل من اردتا وكنز لا تخاف عليه لصن 